Hello everyone, I remember that I promised you tutorial about Sospeso technique. Today I finally managed to put everything together and here's the video. First we need styrofoam egg of the best quality if possible. Try choosing one which is made of the finest styrofoam pieces. We need to smooth it with fine sandpaper. My plan is to use one step crackle, so first I need to paint my egg with dark acrylics. I use decoupage sponge, but you can use brush if you want to. When everything is dry, I apply coat of single step crackle with brush. This one from Pentert is my favorite and one of the best I've used so far. If you see that your medium is dripping, just use your finger to smooth it down. When everything is dry, we need another coat of paint on top and I used sponge to apply it. It is very important not to paint the same spot twice, as by doing it you will remove paint you just applied. Cracks should start appearing immediately. If they don't, use hair dryer as I did in the video. I used this paint for the first time without testing it before and one side of my egg didn't crack at all. This paint dried immediately after applying, that's why it didn't get quite the chance to crack. By the time I got my hair dryer it was too late, but don't worry as we will cover this side with Sospeso. You see, this side didn't crack at all. At the very end, we need a couple of coats of acrylic varnish and our base is ready. This is Sospeso foil with already printed flowers. You can buy this or you can make your own designs using napkins, rice papers or fabric. I've decided to use ready-made sheet today. First, we need to cut all the pictures with either scissors or craft knife. Next, 
Each petal must be cut separately towards the center of the flower. This is very important. Now we need special foam and burins which will help us shape the flowers. and of course tea light. Heat each petal over the tea light and then model it with burins into desired shape. We can keep repeating this until we are happy with the flowers. When all the petals are ready, hit the center of the flower and then press it and hold it. And voila, my flower is ready. My flowers are built of three layers, but you can use one or two, whatever you desire. When you are happy with all the flowers, glue layers on top of each other using hot melt glue. Then attach them on your egg using the same method. When everything is finished, just add single leaves or flower buds here and there, just to make it look more real. At the very end, add bead cap and pin on both ends of your egg and you are finished. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know what kind of video you would like to watch.